in my head, I'm like, okay, well, if you're going for it and you're, you're giving it a shot, then who are you trading? Who are you going to trade? You're not going to trade your relievers probably, right? Are you trading? Right. Is it Akil Badu? Uh, Kerry Carpenter, one of your younger outfielders to try to you know, maybe get a, it's a, a pitcher? I don't know. Well, I don't know be, who they would trade. They have to be someone like Parker Meadows, right? Yeah, I would think so, yeah. Um, or, or, yeah, or Colt Keith or Justin Henry Malloy or Isaac Pacheco. I, I, I don't know if the Tigers are in the position to be wanting to part with any of their decent exactly. prospects. Um, I, I mean, I think they could make small moves probably, but I don't know. It's tough. It, it would be, uh, it would, it would be fun to have that be uh, something to think about, but we're still. I would say uh, that uh, the big thing away. I would say, the big move would be not dealing Erod. That would be, yep. hey, we're going for it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we didn't move this guy. Right now, look at Baltimore. I mean, Baltimore is an embarrassment. Baltimore is embarrassment riches. I mean, you talked about, Chris talked about Jackson Holiday. That's a system that's just getting, that keeps getting better. Yankees are not going anywhere. Jays are going, Jays are very good. And Tampa's doing what they're doing. And then you go to the West, it's it's a gauntlet out there with the exception of Oakland, which is a AAA franchise, really. So, I mean, yeah, there, there, there's also something to be said for just getting into the tournament, right? Like, ah, well, give, give it a shot. Uh, who knows what could happen? They, the Tigers would not be nearly as talented as, as the other playoff teams, but uh, you have Erod go out there, maybe shuts down the team on the, in game one, and uh, who knows yeah. what could happen. But yeah, we'll what could happen. Yeah. I mean, they, yeah. they, they, they've proven they can beat the Yankees. The Twins can't beat the Yankees. It's... It's science, apparently. The twins cannot do <laughs> eat the Yankees. It's it's a proven fact. Yeah, I don't know, but so. Chris, you said like small moves. I was thinking like I feel like this team kind of is missing those like bigger moves. Like I feel like they're missing that front line starter. So I think even if they were to make small moves, I feel like they kind of already did that this off season with like Veerling and Maytown and McKinstry. So I feel like it would have to be kind of like a, a middle of the order impact batter, like a front line starter that would really make a difference for this team. I think. Like the Braves, that one year when they went out and got Soler and Duvall. Adam, Rosario. Adam Duvall, yeah, and those weren't really on the surface big moves that were very expensive because all those guys were on the outs everywhere they were. But man, they all came in and kicked some ass. <laughs> you know, they they, yeah. they got lucky, or maybe not lucky, but you know, it all worked. Uh, maybe you just get on a run with Scott Harris where he brought in the right three guys and. That propelled yeah. them. To, to me, it's more like I, I don't think they have pieces to make a big move. Really, I, I mean, yeah. I, it'd be something like some some team would look at Reese Olson's pitch data and go, "Okay, he's sitting ninety five. He's got two three thousand RPM breaking balls. He's got a plus changeup. Maybe we could figure this guy out." And so you get, uh, uh, like you said, a, a, an MLB outfielder for Reese Olson. You could make a move like that, but I just I don't think that yeah. I don't think you want to part with Colt Keith. Or yeah. Justin Malloy, or, or Parker Meadows, really, or Spencer Torkelson, or Riley Green to try to make your team better, and and I just don't know if they have the pieces. One thing you know. I would add, though, to like the the trade deadline and going for it, you look at the market. I don't really know if there's going to be that many impact players even on this market. Like you look at the teams in the AL, pretty much everyone outside of the, the AL Central is trying to compete, and I don't really know if a team like the Royals or the White Sox is going to make a trade with the Tigers. And like you look at like impact starting pitchers the tigers probably have the best starting pitcher that's going to be on the market in eduardo rodriguez so i just don't know i don't think it's going to be a buyer's market i think it's going to be a seller's market which you know plays into the fact that they probably were are going to trade eduardo rodriguez because they should be able to get something pretty good for him 